Hello and welcome to week 10 of NFL predictions. We had a crazy week last week, a lot of upsets. I think we have a lot of good games this week, so let's just get right into it. Starting with the 6-2 Ravens taking on the 2-7 Dolphins. Ravens com coming off of a overtime comeback win over the Vikings, 34-31. Dolphins also coming off of a win, a low-scoring win over the Texans, 17-9. And apart from the uh, the loss to the Bengals a couple weeks ago, the Ravens' offense has been amazing this season, putting up an average of 30 points uh, a game minus the Bengals game, where they only put up 17. Uh, I'm like I like the Ravens on this one, 27-20 over the Dolphins. Now we have the four and five Panthers taking on the eight and one Cardinals. Panthers com coming off of a loss from the Patriots, 24 to six. Cardinals coming off of a big win over the 49ers, 31 to 17. That's without Kyler Murray or DeAndre Hopkins or A.J. Green. And I think even without all those guys, they still managed to put up 31, and their defense has is, is been playing lights out this season. The Panthers' offense, however, has really struggled this season, only putting up six, six against the Patriots, like I said, and 19 points a game this season. I think the Cardinals win this one 28-17 over the Panthers. Now we have the 4-4 four and four Falcons facing off against the 6-2 and two Cowboys. Falcons com coming off of a close win over the Saints, 27 to 25, and the Cowboys coming off of a an really unexpected loss to the Broncos, 30 to 16, where they were down 30 nothing in the fourth quarter, managed to put two scores in the fourth quarter. Uh, besides that game, their offense has been playing spectacular. They just they just get Dak back, and uh, didn't really seem to help very much in that game, but. I think I think they're going to get back on track. I think they win this one 20 or 20 or 22 to 30 over the Falcons. And now we have the 5 and 3 Saints taking on the 7 and 2 Titans. Saints com coming off of a loss from the Falcons 27-25. Titans coming off of a they're on a big win streak and a massive win over the Rams 28 to 16 even without Derrick Henry. Adrian Peterson's looking like he can be a great replacement back for Derrick Henry this season. Uh, I think the I think I like the Titans in this one. The Saints really have been too inconsistent. I like their defense, but I think I'm gonna go Titans 28 to 24. Now we have the two and six Jaguars taking on the four and five Colts. Jaguars com coming off of an unexpected win over the Bills, nine to six, where they really shut out the Bills' offense on that one, only allowing two field goals, not even a touchdown in that game. Their offense also struggled in that game, but they were able to to barely outlast the uh, Bills in that one. Uh, the Colts coming off of a big win over the Jets, 45-30. to I think the Colts really have been pretty inconsistent this season, uh, but they have put up 30-plus points in their past five games. I like the Colts in this one, 30-23 to over the Jaguars. Now we have an interesting matchup between the 5-4 and four Browns and the 5-4 and four Patriots. Browns com coming off of a win over the Bengals, a huge win, 41-16. to Patriots also coming off of a win over the Panthers, 24-6. to that's three game. That's three. That's a three game win streak for them. I think this is going to be a really close game, uh, but I do like the Browns in this one. Uh, putting up forty one, put, putting up forty one points on the Bengals, and their defense played phenomenal in that game, only, uh, limiting Joe Burrow in that offense to only sixteen points. Uh, I think it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to go Browns twenty seven twenty four. Now we have the five and three Bills taking on the two and six Jets. Bills, like I said earlier, coming off of a close loss from the Jaguars, nine to six. Jets also, like I said earlier, coming off a loss from the Colts, 45-30. to I think the Bills are going to be able to get back on track this week, especially against the Jets' defense, who's, that's really struggled this season. Well, the Jets' offense has, ha, they've had a, a, a bit of a spark the past couple weeks with Mike White and Josh Johnson uh, come, taking over in, in, instead of Zach Wilson. I don't think it's going to be enough. I'm going to go Bills, 31-24 over the Jets. Now we have the 0-8 Lions facing off against the 5-3 Steelers. Lions coming off of a bye week, and the Steelers are coming off of a win over the Bears, 29 to 27. Real close game. Uh, both offenses have struggled quite a bit this season. Obviously, the Lions more so, and the Lions' defense has really been hurting them, averaging 31 points allowed per game, almost 400 yards allowed per game as well. I, th I think it's going to be a close one. I think the Steelers are going to win 21-17 over the Lions. Now we have the six and two Bucks taking on the two and six Washington football team. Both teams are coming off of buys. Obviously, the Washington struggled a lot this season, especially on offense, only averaging 19 points a game. Bucks, on the other hand, have have uh, been playing phenomenally on both sides of the ball, averaging 33 points per game and only 22 points allowed per game. I think the Bucks win this pretty big, 34-24 over over the Washington football team. 
Now we have the three and five Vikings taking on the five and three Chargers. I think this is going to be another really interesting game. Vikings coming off of a loss from the Ravens in an overtime game, 34-31. Chargers coming off of a close win over the Eagles, 27-24. Both teams averaging 24 points a game. Vikings averaging 23 points allowed per game and the Chargers allowing 25 points a game. So obviously very similar uh, stat lines there. I think it's going to be a close one. I think I think the Vikings are going to barely pull off, I guess, somewhat of an upset. 31-30 over the Chargers. Now we have the 3-6 and six Eagles and the 5-3 and three Broncos. Eagles coming off of a loss from the Chargers, 27-24. Broncos coming off of a huge win over the Cowboys, 30-16. Now they have they have Teddy Bridgewater back too. Uh, I think I'm liking the Broncos in this one in a close 24-20 win over the Eagles. Now we have the three and five Seahawks taking on the seven and two Packers. Seahawks coming off of a bye week, and the Packers are coming off of a loss from the Chiefs, 13 to seven, without Aaron Rodgers. And Rodgers will be able to play in this game, but he'll have to come back the day before the game on Saturday, so no practice. I don't think he, I don't think they really need the practice. I think. Uh, with Aaron Rodgers, I say the Packers win 27-24 over the Seahawks. And now we have the 5-4 Chiefs taking on the 5-3 Raiders. Chiefs coming off of a win over the Packers, 13-7. Raiders com coming off of a loss from the Giants, 23-16. Chiefs have struggled a little bit this season. Still managed to pull out a lot of wins, though. The Raiders started off hot 3-0. I think they've, they've really been kind of inconsistent since then. Uh, I think it's going to be a good game, but I'm going to say Raiders win in a close 24-22 game over the Chiefs. Now we have the 7-2 Rams taking on the 3-5 49ers. Rams coming off of a loss from the Titans, 28-16. 49ers also coming off of a loss from the Cardinals, 31-17. I like the Rams' defense a whole lot, especially with the new addition of Von Miller to that defense. Offense has also been amazing uh, with Matthew Stafford putting up... Uh, 2,700 yards and 23 touchdowns, only six interceptions, also averaging 29 points a game as an offense. I think I like the Rams in this one. I think it's going to be a pretty high scoring game, 35-28 uh, over the 49ers. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to post your predictions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.